This presentation will cover system preferences for Cabinet Vision Solid version 5. The Preferences option allows you to set up your system properties. This presentation will cover all of the options available when accessing preferences from the system level. The User tab allows you to enter your company information, such as name, address, and phone numbers. This information can be retrieved and displayed using Autotext in the CAD area. Because this information is available in CAD Autotext, it means you can add it to assembly sheets, title blocks, or even to on-screen CAD notations. The Modules tab allows you to specify the location of your Documents folder for your Windows mobile device that uses Job Site Companion. You can also specify which version of the S2M Center, formerly known as the NC Center, you would like to use with Solid version 5. The Measurement Units tab allows you to specify your default unit of measure as well as the unit precision for both Imperial and Metric. This can be helpful if you must switch between Imperial and Metric when designing, manufacturing, or reporting on a job. The Show Unit Switch button on Status Bar option allows you to choose whether to display the Quick Unit Switch in the Status Bar menu. This can be a handy option if you find yourself needing to switch from Imperial to Metric frequently. The General tab allows you to control some of the general settings in Solid. You can control how many undo actions are stored in memory, how often to autosave the job you are working on, how many jobs are displayed in the Recent Jobs list at the Solid button menu, whether you want to save drawing scenes and drawing pages in separate files. Please note, if you choose to use this option, it can greatly reduce the size of your job file, helping performance. The downside being you must manage more than one file for each job. Also on the General tab, you can choose to save the path to last opened or saved job. And last, you can let Solid know if you would like a backup of your job created each time you open it. The Message Log Options tab allows you to control the display of informational warnings while designing your jobs. By default, all of them are turned on. However, depending on how you design your jobs, some of these warning messages can be distracting. This option allows you to turn off those warnings that have no impact on how you design. The Auto Plan tab allows you to specify rules for the Autofill option as well as the Quick Room option. The Fill Objects tab allows you to specify the default objects doors, windows, appliances that will be used by the Quick Room option. The Geometry tab allows you to control certain geometry related settings. Under certain scenarios, the system may determine that an operation cannot be machined. An example might be that parts are not touching. If you choose to hide unmatched master operations, you will not get a visual display of these non-machined operations. The Include Banding and Overall Part Size option can be handy when using a user-created standard to place an operation or IntelliJoint on a banded part. This option will allow you to control whether the banding is included in the part size returned for a banded part within a UCS. Solid sees all doors as an assembly of parts. Under normal circumstances, like in the case of a five-piece door, you would want to assemble the door prior to machining pull holes and hinge holes on your CNC. However, in the case of a slab door, you may want to actually machine these operations during the nesting process. The Incorporate Door Assembly Operations on Slab Door Part for CNC option, when enabled, tells Solid that you would like your operations on slab doors to be machined during the nesting process. The Layout tab allows you to control some functions specific to the layout view of Solid. You can control what action occurs when double-clicking an object when in Elevation view. With the Combined Toes option, you can control at what depth difference you would like a combined toe to actually become separate toes versus a combined toe. Adjust Assemblies on Appliance Move determines if Solid is allowed to resize adjacent assemblies when moving appliances within your design. The Ignore Wall Ends and Elevation View option determines whether wall ends are listed in the Wall Navigator in the Elevation View. 
The spell checking tab allows you to control the options utilized by the spell checking facility used in the CAD area of SOLID. Each of the options covered in this presentation are completely covered in the help system. Please refer to it for more specifics on the options available in System Preferences. Thanks for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation on the System Preference options at the system level of Cabinet Vision Solid Version 5.